This uh, first Sunday of November, all of us gather here in this parish, with this parish community of St. Mary's here in National City to be able to bless and to dedicate this chapel that all of you have built with a lot of effort and a lot of love so that it could be a place to gather, to pray, and a place also to adore the Blessed Sacrament, to adore Jesus in, in uh, um, the, the gift that he left us in the uh, uh, sacrament of his body and blood, soul and divinity. So today we're going to begin blessing the, uh, the doors and then after that we're going to come in, we're going to start blessing then the, the chapel and all the other items that we have uh, here. And of course, you know, I just want to make sure, you know, when, when we start going inside you know make sure that you're not gonna trip over right okay we don't want to have any accidents today so let's just be careful thank you okay so we begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen Let your throne 
brothers and sisters, gather for the blessing of these new church doors. Let us take part on this celebration with reverence and a spirit of devotion. Let us pray fervently to the Lord that all who enter this chapel through these doors in order to hear the word of God, to celebrate the sacraments, to adore Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, may heed to the voice of Christ. It is Christ who gave himself to us as a true door to eternal life. So let us pray. O oh God, you have honored your people with the dignity of being called your church. Grant that this assembly of your faithful may revere and love you, and with you as their leader, reach the promised rewards of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We praise you, Lord God, Father all holy. You sent your Son into the world to gather by the shedding of his blood those whom the destructive power of sin has scattered. You sent him to unite us all in the one she flow, she fall, fall. He is the good shepherd. He is the door through, through which those who follow him enter and are safe, go in and go out and find pasture. Grant that those who enter this chapel with confident faith in Christ may persevere in the teaching of the apostles, in the breaking of the bread, and in unceasing prayer. So be built into the heavenly Jerusalem. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now the uh, ceremonial ribbon will be cut uh, jointly by the chair of the Paris Finance Council, Monica O'Hara, and the president of Mother Butler Guild, also the uh, head of the uh, chapel guardians of the Divine Mercy Adoration Chapel, uh, Dale Devina. Praise the Lord. Praise and long live St. Mary Parish in National City. Slowly we will enter the chapel. As the bishop warned us, be careful. There is a stumbling block, a stumbling cement uh, thing. So Monica and Dale will lead us, usher us to the chapel. The building is just a building. What is really important is the church, are the living stones, the body of Christ. A building will be always be a building, but it is Christ that is the faithful that wants to sanctify the space, that wants to sanctify the, uh, the building. So now we're going to bless this, this place, this uh, chapel, this house of worship, and ask the Lord to also bless all those who enter here. So we pray. O oh God, your continuous work begets in us every measure of desire and achievement. We bless you for setting our hearts on heaven during our pilgrim days on earth. Grant to your servants who will come in this house of blessing, of, of prayer, these blessings, to listen to you in faith, to speak to you in prayer, to seek only you in their work, 
to find you in all they do to become witnesses to the gospel. Through them, spread the good, aroma, the good aroma of Christ everywhere until the day they rejoice in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example, for they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to carry, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> it is the Lord who calls us to be humble. It is the Lord who invites us to come to this place of prayer and to be able to, in humility, offer our prayers, our supplications, our needs knowing that everything that is good comes from God. So this is a place that is going to be dedicated for prayer. And in this place, there will be prayers of thanksgiving, there will be petitions for healing, there will be petitions for a problem solved, there will be tears, there will be moments of joy, there will be everything. Because before the Lord, we just have to be like children. Before the Lord, we just have to open our hearts, our minds, and of course our spirits and as we become humble we know that the Lord will exalt us we know that the Lord will lift up lift up lifts us up and help us in all our needs so we pray now for this space this place that is going to be this chapel of prayer let us pray 
O oh God, inspire and author of every holy resolve, hear our prayer that you will bestow the kindness of your grace on the religious, our faithful, who comes into the chapel. Make it a place of continuous meditation on your word, of mutual love, and of tireless service to others. Grant that those who here loyally follow Christ may together become an eloquent witness for their consecration to you. And we ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we pray to the Lord to bless this chapel in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord and Father of all holiness, from whom the true bread from heaven has come down to us, bless the tabernacle we have prepared for the sacrament of Christ's body and blood through our adoration of your Son present in the Eucharist. Lead us to a closer union with the mystery of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
less a lecture. Oh God, you speak to us not as strangers, but as friends. In your goodness, grant us the grace of the Holy Spirit, so that in tasting the sweetness of your word, we may be filled with the love of your Son that surpasses all knowledge. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. these monstrance, these vessels with which we will celebrate the sacrifice of Christ's new covenant and, will and which we will use also for the gift of prayer and adoration. May they be sanctified, for in them the body and blood of Christ will be offered, consecrated, and received. Lord, when we celebrate Christ's fallen sacrifice on earth, may we be renewed in strength and fill with your spirit until we join with your saints at your table in heaven. Glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now we pray, gracious and loving God, that you bless this altar where the sacrifice of the Eucharist will be offered, that you bless also these images that we have here of our blessed Mother, St. Joseph, and especially that image of your son Jesus crucified who died for us on the cross that will be remind, a reminder of the great love that you have for us that you gave us your only son to offer his life for us for our salvation may this may, may this crucifix always reminds us of the event that happens every time we celebrate the Eucharist on this altar and we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen. Yeah. 